Wendy here. Um, wonderful to see all of you again. I am visiting with you from Portsmouth, New Hampshire at the Museum of New Art where we have a fabulous new Rodrigue exhibition called George Rodrigue Painting for Myself. Painting for Himself. Um, I want to share a couple of the pieces with you today. Uh, first of all, some pieces that he designed for our home in Carmel Valley, California. Uh, a lot of people don't know, George and I moved from Louisiana to California in the year 2000, and we lived there the rest of his life. We kept our home in New Orleans and went back, obviously, quite often. But that was really where we felt at home and where George certainly felt at home and did most of his painting those last, oh, 13, 14 years. So the first thing that he did, we, see, we, when we walked into that house and decided this was the home for us, it's magnificent, the first thing that struck us was these huge cathedral ceilings. It was, it was a modern construction, but very much built like a church, like a Gothic church with these huge, gigantic ceilings shaped like this, right? And in the back of the main room, that whole wall, was glass looking out over Carmel Valley and the magnificent trees and land there. It was truly spectacular. And on the other side of that, there were these very high walls. So George was in tasked with painting to fill those walls. So he was very inspired by the space. Y'all, look how big this is. I'm gonna move in a second, I promise, but I thought for scale, you've got to see. Whoa. So what George did in his first piece was he um, reflected back on Gothic cathedrals, right? He's thinking about this cathedral shape, looking out over windows in that space, but here he's gonna hang this on the wall, echoing that shape, and he thinks about not only, well, designing a custom canvas, a canvas world that he can create his own world within, but also the stained glass windows of Gothic cathedrals. And here he has um, abstracted the blue dog into this sort of stained glass window type design. Look at these intense colors, uh, very much changing the way that the dog's eyes are, the various um, colored patterns, this orange and purple and blue, and this very strong, very um, impactful yellow and blue eyes. This one very high in the home, so unlike here where we can walk right up to it, that was not possible there. So George was very aware of that too, that it would seem really high and from a distance and really wanted to have that strength. Next one. Following. George also painted this for that space. Um, this was part of our home. And it also um, has a custom stretched canvas, in this case to fit the fireplace. It was a kernel stone fireplace that went all the way to the top of that cathedral ceiling. It was shaped by this. And so George put this magnificent canvas, well, designed it, painted it, stretched it to fit over the mantle. Wow. Again, he knew that you couldn't walk right up to it. Instead, we'd be, say, sitting on a sofa down low or standing down low by the fireplace looking up at it. So he is building it in that way with these dark colors heading up to this lighter, brighter dog and sun and uh, color scheme to draw the eye up. Cathedral ceilings, right? And we're down low. People never get to see these because, for one thing, they're always in our home. Um, we did sell that house. It was just, oh, well, it was too difficult to be there without him. But I have these magnificent paintings uh, better than the home, right? Better than the next best thing to have in George, yeah? And so it's a way of sharing that personal vision with you and our personal space in this painting for himself exhibition. Um, and so these don't fit in my house today, in our house, Lionel Douglas's home. And so it's only in museums and museums that have the space to do it um, that we're able to actually share them. And so what's so cool about this particular exhibition is that this is a new museum 
uh, build out unbelievable construction in the old um, YMCA here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, with a very contemporary approach to architecture. So fantastic. And look, to be able to take these architectural um, dynamic artistic statements by George Rodriguez and blend them with that same sort of statement here is the temporary museum that is housed within an early structure and honors that structure as well, um, even though it's an ideal situation. Please come see this exhibition. It continues through January 2nd, 2024. Museum of New Art, also known as Mona, here in Portsmouth. From there, it travels to George Rodriguez's hometown of New Iberia, Louisiana, the Bayou Tesh Museum, where it will be on view for much of 2024 in honor of George's 80th birthday, including a gala celebration on March 13th. So, come join us. Thank you.